Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. Now, are you wondering what it's like to be a mobile dental hygienist? So a traveling dental hygienist where you go into people's homes, nursing homes, however you want to do things. So I'm not talking about a van where you travel and you park somewhere and then patients come to you. I mean, specifically, you're going into patients' home to perform dental hygiene treatment. So I have been a mobile dental hygienist since 2018. I've been in the dental profession for 17 years. And I love to talk to dental hygienists about mobile dental hygiene because I get two sides of the coin. I get dental hygienists who are so excited. They want to do it right away and they do great for a couple months. And then I notice they're selling all of their stuff. And I kind of message them and say, why are you selling everything? And then they do say to me, mobile dental hygiene just wasn't for them. They didn't realize how much work goes into it. They didn't realize a lot of things. And these are some of the things that dental hygienists have said to me. They didn't realize that we have to log in so much stuff. So just as an example, I saw child patients today. So two, three, and four-year-old dental screenings. What I brought with me was this. It's kind of heavy. You can't tell, but this is where I keep a lot of my supplies. And I also brought in my mobile dental tote where I keep my, you know, safety glasses, hair caps, my wallet, my gloves, masks, anything like that. But then I also bring in this where I have Mr. Rex. He comes with me to all of my appointments. I bring in the toy box that I have for kids. I bring in the disinfecting wipes, all kinds of things. There's too many things to list all at once, but that is the least amount of equipment I have. For typical appointments, I actually do bring this, but it's attached to probably three times the size of this. It becomes a cart on wheels. So I bring that whole thing in. I don't need my whole cart for children, but for adult appointments, yes, I do. So I bring in my full cart with the wheels. I bring in a portable patient chair. I bring in a stool for me to sit on. I bring a side table. I bring all of that that I had shown you, my tote and this bag. But I also bring in my compressor unit with the air, the water, the suction. If you haven't seen that yet, do a search on my channel for an aseptico unit or portable unit, portable compressor. You will find lots of videos on that. It's about 50 pounds. It's on wheels, but it's 50 pounds. It's kind of heavy. Plus I bring in another tote um, that's the same size as this, where I put in my compressor tub. I put in my piezo unit. I put in all of the cords, all of the hoses that come with the compressor. In that, huh, it takes about three trips to and from the car. That is what being a mobile dental hygienist is all about. When I first started, I would say for one person, it took about two hours. So a full hour for a teeth cleaning, you know, talking to them, the medical history, all of that. And then another hour in total for the cleanup time and the setup time. So I booked two hours. Sometimes I was done a bit early. Sometimes I was done a bit late. So maybe it took two hours and 10 minutes. That's for one person, but you're lugging so many things back and forth basically. So it's better to see everybody in one household. I love it when I book a family because I see everybody in one health, um, household. I just bring in everything once and there you go. But sometimes that's not always the case. And I find, you know, and some mobile dental hygienists do this. They have a limit of two people per household. They will not travel to somebody's house unless there's a limit of two people. So there has to be two people at least. Um, I don't do that because I don't want to, the purpose, why I'm a mobile dental hygienist is to make dental easier for everybody. So I don't want to tell somebody who's super anxious, one person living alone, sorry, I won't see you because there's not two people, you know, I don't like to do that. So <coughs> sorry guys, excuse me. This is live and unedited. Oh my God, as I'm choking. Hmm. Sorry, guys. 
So I will see anybody, okay? Because I want them to be comfortable and that's the purpose of what I do. So that is what a mobile dental hygienist is. Sometimes you see one person a day. Sometimes you see six people a day. It truly is up to you. But I find hygienists, that's what they tell me was the hardest part. They didn't realize they had to lug so, so many things and booking in patients is like a puzzle because if you're going to different cities each day, that's too much travel time. You'll just be on the road the entire time. So I like to go to one city a day. If I'm going to London, as an example, I'm only going to see patients in London. What if somebody cancels? Well, then I have to find another patient or family who lives in London who is due. I don't want to go to London and then 45 minutes out of my way to go somewhere somewhere else just to make money. So I see one city a day. So a, a lot of hygienists have told me that's too hard for them. It's just too hard to manage the schedule of a mobile dental hygienist. So you're not on the road all day long, maybe seeing one or two patients, but you're in the car for four hours. Again, you guys, that's what being a mobile dental hygienist is all about. You have to get very good at scheduling patients and not overworking yourself either. It's one thing to see one patient and then say, okay, that was two hours of travel time, one hour there, one hour back. I saw one patient for a two hour appointment. Oh my goodness, I was gone all day and I saw one person. It's one thing to do that and not feel overworked, okay? Sounds good, you might not have made the money you wanted to, but you're not overworked. But then it's another to see a family of six, you're excited and then, oh, somebody's insurance is running out tomorrow. So I'm going to see another family of two after my family of six, because they're in the same city, but their insurance runs out tomorrow. So great, you're seeing a lot of people making great money, but you're gonna be exhausted at the end of the day. I see a maximum of six people a day. If for some reason it's a family of seven, then absolutely I'm going to see that family, but I'm not going to travel to multiple households. I actually prefer to go to one household a day um, for adults. I don't mind traveling to different houses for children's screenings if they're in the same city within about five or 10 minutes from each other. So all of this, you guys, takes practice. Scheduling takes practice, but a lot of dental hygienists just don't want to do that. But if this sounds like you, if this sounds exciting to you, then being a mobile dental hygienist just might be for you because it's so rewarding. Patients always thank me. Patients always say, wow, I didn't know this was a thing. That's amazing. I'm telling everybody about you because they all think I'm so special that I have a dental hygienist coming to my house. Well, I am special, you know. Patients love it. You come right to them. They don't have to take time off of work. It is so convenient. They don't have to drive anywhere. You can see the entire family one day. Um, you can be seeing the kids while the parents are cooking dinner or the kids are doing homework while you're cleaning the parents' teeth. It's truly amazing. And I do have a full course where I teach mobile dental hygienists how to start their own practice, how to start their own mobile dental hygiene practice but also how to have a successful one. It's one thing to start a business, but a lot of businesses fail within the first two years. So it's one thing to have a business, but to have a successful one is very different. So I teach dental hygienists how to do that. Literally how to work smarter and not harder. I know people say that, but it's true. So if you're interested in being a mobile dental hygienist, I'm going to leave the link for you guys on the bottom, Mobile RDH Academy. You need this course to get you started. Or maybe you watched the video and you said, whew, that sounds like a lot of work. Mobile dental hygiene is not for me. No, thank you. And I didn't even go into the business expenses and all of that. So if you want to know more, I do talk about that inside my course. Let me know, you guys, if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.